Now, here's your Storm Tracker weather forecast with Jason Laird. Good morning, friends. Thanks for spending your Monday with us here. Eight whopping degrees in Gray Falls right now. Talk about a cold start to the day. 18 degrees in the capital right now. Looking at the teens and 20s west of the divide. Very cold throughout eastern Montana. A couple little light flurries not out of the question today, primarily over the mountains. Just due to the fact we have a little bit of lingering moisture over the board, as you notice. Maybe a little flurry making it through mid morning or so. But for the most part, uh, relatively clear skies today with just some high level clouds kind of moving over top of the area. That is going to for slightly warmer temperatures today, looking at 35 in Gray Falls, 37 in the capital, a few 40s west of the divide, mid to low 30s there along uh, northeastern Montana and the High Line as well. Tonight, going to be another cold one on tap, 20 degrees in Gray Falls, 21 in the capital, slightly warmer west of the divide. Teens, though, as we head off into the plains, very, very cold with relatively clear skies. Tomorrow, we are going to start to inch those temperatures up a little bit, but Get this later in the day, almost a carbon copy of what we saw this weekend, only not quite as much moisture to work with. So we've kind of got these little white streamers on the map there. That's your wind. That wind is going to kind of shift out of the north. And what's going to happen is that colder Arctic air is going to settle in tomorrow throughout the day. Going to probably see some isolated flurries. Now, this first batch of moisture, I think, is going to have a better chance of being rain. I know it's showing up as flurries on the future track, but I do anticipate more in the way of rain with that first batch. And then uh, as the day progresses, more showers moving in late into the day. That is going to transition to snow more overnight Tuesday into Wednesday. So snow through Wednesday, pretty minimal. Again, I would say about one to three for Great Falls. Again, very similar to what we just saw out of this last system. Most of it's going to melt due to the fact that the ground temperatures are so warm. A little bit better chance for the capital out of this system. Uh, really, it's going to be kind of the northern and westerly slopes of the mountains that will have a little bit better chance of picking up some precipitation. So with that said, a couple lingering uh, flurries there on Wednesday. Those are going to continue to move out and we'll see some warmer air finally start to move in toward the tail end of this next week. So here's how things are going to play out over the next seven days for us. Looking at 35 degrees clearing skies today. Rain returns on Tuesday, transitioning to to kind of more of a wintry mix on Wednesday. Next seven days in the capital, 37 degrees, more sun today. Afternoon showers turning to a wintry mix as Wednesday rolls around and finally a little bit closer to average by the end of the work week, Keely.